Hey guys, today we're checking out the latest limited Tucker Otomi Mall release in the Zoids Wild line, the Proto Beast Liger. This is the Beast Liger as it first appears in the Zoids Wild Zero anime before Sally like reactivates it or whatever it was that happened there. And I've really been looking forward to this one. So we're going to do an unboxing, we'll compare it to the original Beast Liger and we'll also take a look at it in action. Let's get started. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, the box, of course, is your uh, standard sort of uh, Zoids Wild Biographies design with the uh, brown cardboard with the black print on it. it says here Proto Beast Liger. This is number three in the line. Not a whole lot on the sides as per usual. Uh, same design on the back as with all these boxes. Um, I don't mean to sound dismissive. Uh, I really actually like this design. There's just not a whole lot to say about it because they all look more or less the same. We've got the uh, black silhouette here of the Proto Beast Liger and that's about the only difference. So let's just uh, crack this open, take a look inside. We, as per usual, open this flap and then in here we have the instructions. We have all of the parts and uh, the gearboxes, which of course is first of all the uh, standard Zoids Wild gearbox and the um, gearbox for the uh, blast mode. And uh, that's it. So let me get rid of the box here. So let's take a look at the uh, instructions first. Guessing there's going to be two things in here. Um, yep. This is first of all, um, of course, the standard uh, Beast Liger instructions, just uh, with a new uh, from page saying so it's about biographies otherwise there does not appear to be anything new here nope this is just how you build it in standard mode and here we have the uh, actual new parts for the uh, proto beast liger which uh, is back C and I'm not entirely sure what all this is, to be honest. I mean, this is obviously these boosters or fuel tanks or both. Uh, new leg armor, probably a different color. And uh, we're going to find out what the rest of all this is. And then it, you know, it shows you how to put it together. This is always the same in these uh, biographies kits. First, it shows you what to remove. And then, okay, this... This piece, C1 here, goes over um, goes over this section on the on the back that the blades would attach to because the Brodo Beast Liger doesn't have the blades. That's why you remove them here. And then uh, this is some sort of new armor piece down there, and these look a bit different. Obviously, you know we're going to be doing. Oh, okay. And and C8, just sorry, C8 is just the uh, connector pieces to attach the fuel tanks, and then we're done. Uh, what I was going to say is that obviously we are going to be doing uh, comparisons and then we'll find out just how different these parts are. But for now, let's get all this stuff out of the, out of the box first. Um, this is A and it's not going to contain anything new, although I can see here that the colors are different. Let's do the interesting part first, which is... C, that's the new parts. Right, so here we have the uh, pieces for the fuel tanks, which uh, have this uh, painted booster on them, which is why as all of the pre-painted pieces in these kits, it comes, uh, it comes, since it's sort of nice packaging here where the parts can't, you know, bump against each other. Um, as usual, uh, the pre-painted stuff is done very nicely. It's kind of a shame that they go, back, go together this way though, because Going to be a big fat seam line, of course, going all over everything. This is also very clearly, this is a different white color 
from the uh, from the original version of the Beast Liger, uh, and we also have this piece here, which is see the plastic is actually this sort of off white cream color, and then it's painted gunmetal on top, just like the rest of the boosters. Also in the C bag are these leg armor pieces and um, the connector pieces for the boosters and these two little guys here which I don't know where they're gonna go and so let's actually get the uh, standard armor bits out of the back first and then we can see if they have a different shape as you can see here we have obviously unless I'm completely mistaken um, we have different colors these are the uh, blades which are in this sort of more slightly I don't know I guess maroonish color you might call that um, more importantly though these are also by the way these are the rest of the main pieces and the blades and all this which are all the same <clears throat> color as these guys I don't think there's any need to get these out of the back let's actually take a look at the leg armor that's the interesting part here um, all these other bits here are the same as the standard Beast Liger, but let me take a look. This is, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, these definitely look different. Off the top of my head, I can't remember which one are the front and which one are the, uh, which one is the, uh, the, the back. But as you can see here, either way, this is the new one for the Proto Beast Liger. This is definitely a new and different piece. The rest of the armor here is the same, it's just a slightly different color. Uh, in the S bag we have green eyes, we have blue caps, we have all the mechanical stuff. We have a pilot figure. And finally in the A bag, let me just open that up real quick just to see what's in here. Actually quite a lot that turns out to be worth looking at. First of all we have here, <clears throat> get one of each out of the back here for you guys. First of all, we have the uh, piece that, whoops, that drives the uh, leg movement that as on the uh, Wild Liger from the Biography series has this bit here um, with these sort of ribs painted. Um, and then also on all of the legs, also same as the Wild Liger, we have uh, as you can see here, painted pistons. It's a bit subtle, but it's definitely there. These are the feet, which other than being a different color are not really anything uh, that we necessarily need to look at. There's uh, more uh, bone mode stuff here, which is silver. And here are the torso halves, also nothing uh, nothing new or that we necessarily need to look at and I think that about covers everything. No stickers, yet again lots and lots of painted stuff, more than I expected actually and uh, yeah I'm gonna get this guy put together now and then we're gonna take a look at how it compares to the original. Okay so let's do those comparisons first. Here's the Proto Beast Liger in the standard configuration and the original Beast Liger. Obviously the Proto version looks pretty skinny by comparison, but that's kind of the point. Here it is in the full Beast Liger configuration to give you a better idea of how the collars compare. I'm getting sort of a Zoids Genesis vibe from this now that I look at it, but see for yourselves what you think. I also really wanted to try this right here. In case you can't tell, this is just basically everything. The full Beast Liger armor and weapons, plus the fuel tank slash boosters. As it turns out, they tuck in very nicely next to the blades. I'm surprised by how well this works to be honest, and I think I might just display it like this. Anyway, let's check it out in action. As you can see, of course it still has the wild blast mechanism that causes the head to move downward. Unfortunately though... Yeah, there's something wrong with the parts fit and the mouth just stays open like this. The other bad news is that I had some serious parts fit issues with both of the left feet. They're supposed to be loose so that they can move correctly when the Zoid walks, but both of them fit too tightly. I was able to fix this for the front foot, but the rear one just would have taken more sanding than I could be bothered to do, frankly. 
Well, and that's the Proto Beast Lager. As far as appearance goes, I don't really have any complaints here except for one thing. I really don't know why these rips on the side here are blue. The collar doesn't match anything else on the Zoid and it looks totally out of place. Other than that though, I really like the muted new collars and if nothing else, you have to appreciate this one for being the first in this line of collar variants that also has some actual new parts. And it's not just the fuel tanks, but also the leg armor and three other parts to cover up the attachment slot for the blades and to replace the bottom halves of the main instead of just having you remove them. And even if you think it looks too bony in the proper proto configuration, you've got two different ways that you can build it up, so that's pretty cool. I'm just pretty disappointed by the parts fit problems. None of this is anything you couldn't fix, I guess, but the one thing the motorized Zoids always had going for them was that the clearances were just right for everything to work, and I really don't know how they screwed it up with this one. Obviously, I don't know if it's just mine that has this problem, or if they all don't work properly, but it's certainly worth mentioning as the only real negative in this review. Well, and that's it for this one, folks. Sorry it's taken me so long to get another video out, but this time of year is just always insanely busy for me. I've got more stuff lined up than I want to review, but we'll see how long that takes. I figure I should be back to whatever passes for normal around here at some point in mid-December. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.